Hello everyone. In this series, we will learn how to use Sublime Text. Sublime Text is a text editor that will make you fall in love with text editors all over again. Now some of you may be thinking, it's a text editor. We can type in it. What else is there to learn? Well, there's actually quite a bit to learn. So Sublime Text is a Swiss army knife with all sorts of tips and tricks up its sleeve. And in this series, we will learn how to get the most horsepower out of Sublime Text. So let's get started. Let me paste in an example bit of text. I once had a cat. The cat was fast. He was much faster than the average cat. Now let's imagine that we wanted to add the word small here and here. Well, that wasn't rocket science, uh, but there's a more efficient way of doing it. So let me undo. The keyboard shortcut to undo is simply Command Z on Mac or Control Z in Windows. Now back to the more efficient way of adding the word small. I can click once where I want my cursor or caret to be. And then if you're on a Mac, hold down Command or if you're on a PC, hold down the Control key and then click in the other location where you want your cursor to be. And now you can see there are two text cursors or carrots. So now I can just type small space and you can see it added it in both locations. Next, let's imagine that we want to change the word cat to dog. So I can highlight the word cat and you can see that sublime text automatically outlines all other instances of that word. Now I could hold down the command or control key and double click the next cat, but I'll show you a more efficient way. We don't even need to highlight the first cat. We can simply place our cursor anywhere within the word and then push command D or if you're on a PC control D we can see that that selects the word now if I push command D again it selects the next occurrence of this word and if I push command D again it selects the third instance so now our text cursor or caret is in three locations at once and we can begin to type D O G you might think B, F, D. I could have done the same thing with find and replace. While that's technically true in this isolated example, I think you'll find that when you're dealing with a much larger text file, like you'll find in the real world, the ability to select the next occurrence of a word or function name or any string is incredibly useful. All right, now let's jump over to a completely new example. So I just pasted in the days of the week. And let's imagine that at the beginning of each line, we want to include text that reads, Bob is busy on, and then the name of the day. So we could use the strategy that we learned earlier where we hold down command, or if you're on Windows, you hold down control and individually click at the beginning of each line, but that's not very efficient. Instead, what we can do is hold down the alt button on our keyboard and simply drag to achieve this on Windows, you can hold down the shift button and then use your right click on the mouse to drag. So now that we've dragged and created this multi-line cursor or caret scenario, I can simply say Bob is busy on. So Bob gets busy, but let's move on to a new example. So here are the days of the week again, and let's imagine that we wanna add something to the end of each line that reads, will be cloudy. Now, technically, we can use the drag strategy that we just learned. So if I hold down Alt and really put my cursor towards the right side of the screen as I drag down, Sublime Text knows what I'm trying to do. And it put the cursor at the end of the line. Will be cloudy. However, this is not the strategy I use when I need to add text at the end of each line. Because when you have lines of unequal lengths, sometimes if you're not really precise with your mouse movements, Sublime Text doesn't put the cursor where you would expect it would. So instead, what I do is I simply select all of the lines that I want to edit. Nothing fancy. This is just a regular click and drag and highlight. So if we started typing, it would just delete the whole passage. This is a standard by the book highlight. Now here's the magic part. If I hold down Command, Shift, and L on Mac, or on Windows, if you push Control Shift L, Sublime Text turns each line into an editable area. So if each line is selected, that means if we start typing, it will replace each line. So Command Z, I wanna undo that. But if I click the right arrow on my keyboard, it will place the cursor at the end of each line, and then we can say 
will be cloudy. Now, while we are still in the multi-line edit mode, let's imagine that we want to add text at the beginning of each line. So to hop our cursors to the far left, I will hold Command and push the left arrow on my keyboard. If you're using Windows, you can simply push the Home key. Did you know that blank will be cloudy? Now we should probably make the ending punctuation mark a question mark, so I will hold Command and push the right arrow. On Windows, you can push the End key, that's right below the Home key. Voila! Let's move on to a new example. So I just pasted in a long list of customer names. And let's imagine that we're dealing with HTML and we want to wrap each one of these lines or each one of these names in an element. Sublime Text has a special command for wrapping a selection in an element. So let's try it on the first line of text. I highlighted that line. And now if I push Control Shift W, or if you're on PC, that is Alt Shift W, we can see that it's automatically wrapping the text and I can type in the name of any element. And we automatically get a matching start and end tag. Excellent, now let's try this wrapping function on all of our lines at once. So your first instinct might be to select all lines and then try the Control Shift W command. But as you can see, that wraps the entire bit. So we see the start tag here and the end tag here. So obviously that's not what we want. So instead, select all the lines. Let's use the Command Shift L or Control Shift L if you're on PC to turn each line into an editable region. And now we can use the Control Shift W wrap function. Again, that's Alt Shift W on PC. And now we can say LI for list item. Bada boom. And that will bring this first lesson on Sublime Text to a close. But before we go our separate ways, I want to say stop right now. Go and download Sublime Text. You have to do this. You won't absorb these techniques unless you are practicing and following along with me. So please, right now, pause this video. Google for Sublime Text 3. Download it. It's free to download and evaluate and try and use for as long as you like. I think every 20 or 50 save attempts, it'll remind you, please buy this software, but there's no expiration date. I personally bought the software because I find it invaluable, but it is free to try. So please pause this video, do that right now, so you can follow along in these lessons. I promise you will absorb so much more of this info if you're doing it yourself, if you're mirroring what you see on screen. Actively following along will enhance your learning experience tenfold. You might even want to rewatch this video or skim through it again after you've downloaded and installed Sublime Text. Now in the next lesson, we will learn how to move lines of text around very quickly. We will learn how to manipulate lines of text and we will also learn about power tools to handle code indentation. Should be a lot of fun. I'll see you in the next lesson. The lesson you just watched is a part of my web development workflow course. The course covers Sublime Text, SAS architecture and organization, Git, Grunt, Bower, and more, and we use all of this to build a modern website together. The lessons that are about a single tool will be available for free on YouTube, and the lessons where we really sink our teeth into something, or see how two or three tools are coming together, or maybe write a bit of custom CSS or JavaScript together, will be part of the premium course. If you want to be notified when the premium course is released, you can sign up via the description for this video. Or if you're watching this video in the future, the course has been released and you can find a heavily discounted coupon code in the description for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.